Hey everyone, happy Monday. Welcome to another Marketing Monday. Um, just hopping on a little bit before two, mainly so I can go ahead and share this video to my Facebook profile as well. So just a moment. How is everyone's day going so far? Let's see, share now with friends. This week's topic. All right, so in case this is your first time showing up to Marketing Monday, my name is Helene, CEO and founder of Hashtagitude, which is a digital marketing agency based in downtown Denver. Um, so we do this every Monday at 2 p.m. Mountain Time. Um, we are considering changing the time um, in the new year, um, maybe to earlier in the day, at least for lunchtime for us people, for those of us who are in uh, Denver or the Mountain Time Zone. So um, stay tuned to that. This week's theme is about social media's effects on our health and specifically our mental health. Um, as you probably saw from the title of today's um, Facebook Live, we are talking about mental health and um, we'll just dive right in. But first, of course, if you're joining us, uh, whether live or on the replay, um, drop, drop some comments below. Uh, stay interactive, of course. Um, Always love to see your comments, and even though I may not be able to interact with them um, live, um, I will always be responding to them um, after the uh, Facebook Live goes off. So, tell us your name and your city, where you're viewing from, and also what do you like to post on social media. So, something a little neutral. Um, not going to talk about how social media affects you. Um, you can always discuss that with me through direct messaging or um, through email. So. Anyway, so does social media actually affect our mental health? And there has been a lot of studies out there. The short answer to that question is yes, it does. Um, of course, it does affect us a lot more negatively than positively, but a few positives that I could think of um, in terms of social media and its effects on our mental health is that, you know, the positive side of social media is you get to stay in touch with loved ones from far away you meet new friends more easily, um, you know, through mutual connections on social media, uh, uh, Facebook or LinkedIn, um, Twitter, Instagram. Um, you can use Twitter at conferences and meet up with conference buddies there, make new friends that way, be able to make connections a lot more easily that way, especially if you're a little shy with approaching people and being like, hi, I'm also new here <laughs> at this conference. So. There's definitely some positives to social media, so we can't, you know, we can't discount those positives. Those help us to make friends and just, you know, feel more like we're uh, more closely connected. But however, the negatives, they do outweigh a bit of the positives, especially for our mental health. The negatives, so addiction is one big thing. So I don't, if you want to raise your hand, you can, but how many of you, how many of us really have, have um, Checked social media at least once per today. Have you checked it within the out last hour? You know we're pretty addicted to social media these days. And there's actually research um, out there from former former employees at some of the bigger social media networks, where you know they created the mechanism for the like button or love, share, etc. They created that exact part of the the social network to where, but now they're not working at that um, social media network anymore and they're saying that they feel bad that they've made basically people addicted to getting those likes, those favorites, those comments, all that stuff. So that's one big thing that's, you know, that affects our mental health is, you know, we do get addicted to social media. We're like, hey, we want more likes. Oh, why aren't people like tuning in? Or why aren't people liking my stuff? Am I not posting the right stuff, etc. Also, um, I would say the next two are related to one another, comparison and jealousy. Those are two big parts of um, social media or mental health that are affected by social media. So, you know, a lot of us, we, we watch 
our friends and family off on the highlight reel of like, oh, look at them, they're on a nice vacation or they're on a nice like dinner and it's like, oh, I wish I, I could be there. I wish I could afford to have a nice dinner like that. So research calls the highlight reel or the comparison trap as the upward social comparison. So, you know, seeing a friend have an awesome time on vacation makes you feel jealous and wish that you were there or that your life was better than that, than what it is. So it does lower your self-esteem, unfortunately. Um, another negative, and that I would say this last one, um, is all these, I guess, negative effects. They feed into one another. A negative effect of um, social media on mental health is isolation. So despite the fact that, you know, I mentioned the positives of social media on our mental health, of feeling more connected and everything, is that a lot of times we do feel a lot more isolated as well. So even though you might have so many, you know, 500 some friends on Facebook or thousand or more followers on Twitter, et cetera, et cetera, even though you might have all those numbers, in the end, are you happier? Um, you know, let alone people, those of the, those who game the system, it's like the numbers in the end, they're like how many of those people will actually come to you when you're down in the dumps, you know, when you're not feeling well, when life is not exactly going as cheery as you make it seem on your social media. So anyway, lots of research as of late about mental health um, and social media um, has been out recently about how it affects teens a lot. But I believe that, you know, social media and its effects does affect the rest of us regardless of age. So according to a survey from just this past May, Instagram is the worst social media network for mental health and well-being, according to Time Magazine. Um, you know, you see, since Instagram is all about the photos and, and now videos as well, you see everyone, you know, posting, you know, the happiest moments and everything. And um, I would say if I were a teen right now and I'd see all those photos of like friends or classmates like basically having a lot of fun without me, I'd be like, yeah, I have FOMO, fear of missing out. Um, you know, the thing about teens and social media and mental health too, cyberbullying is very prominent. I mean, bullying in general is very prominent with teens, but cyberbullying um, is a whole nother layer on social media to where, you know, of course, it doesn't just affect teens, but, you know, it affects adults as well, but teens especially are very vulnerable to cyberbullying just because of the fact that, you know, they're coming of age. Puberty, everything, all the emotions, you're like on the cusp of adulthood and you're not really sure how to handle it all. So a quote from the from the Time Magazine piece I just referenced, young people who spend more than two hours a day on social networking sites are more likely to report psychological distress. So um, even though social media as we know it in the modern day right now wasn't really around when I was a teen, I know that, you know, with AIM Instant Messenger and a few other now defunct social networks. You know, I spent a lot of time on that and I would say that it was a bit distressful for me because I'd be like, oh, my friends just wrote like this blog post about how much fun they had at this event that I couldn't go to or it was too far away for me. And of course, I definitely felt a bit of that psychological distress. Anyway, how do you feel before, during, and after you visit social media? This is a serious, a serious question. So, you know, do you feel like you're happier? After, you know, before you visit social media, while you're visiting it, after you're visiting it, do you feel like it does stress you out? Um, you know, answer in the comments below, or if you feel like you'd like to talk about it in private, send a DM to the Facebook page and um, keep ta I'll keep tally of it. But um, we came across this great list from Homewood, Homewood Health, which I believe is a Canadian um, resource, or at least a Canadian um, organization about key indicators to be aware of if social media does affect you, affect your mental health. And this is a long list, but I'll just read it and I'll go over it quickly. So, low or decreased self-esteem during or after you're using social media. Second one is negatively comparing yourself to others via their social media content. Number three, repeti rep repetitively focusing on your own shortcomings or distress while viewing other social media feeds. Number four, frequently feeling envious of others while engaged with social media. Five, using social media as your prime leisure activity. Six, feeling disconnected from friends and family or not interacting with them in person as often as you normally would. 
7. Decrease inability to, con to concentrate. <coughs> 8. Increased or unusual social anxiety when interacting with people offline. 9. Feeling a need to share everything you're doing offline on social media. 10. Experience the negative emotional experience FOMO, or fear of missing out, during or after viewing others' online activity. 11. Consciously, consistently using social media as a distraction to avoid or suppress unpleasant emotions. Um, 12. Irregular or disordered sleeping patterns. Or 13. Increase in fatigue and or stress during or after using social media. So, there you have it. Um, a list of some factors that, you know, indicators you should be aware of. If you, don't, if you currently don't feel like social media affects you in any way in terms of your mental health. Um, that's probably a good thing, um, but I would say that, you know, I can't speak for everyone, but I, I would assume that a majority of people who use social media, regardless of your age, teenager to upwards to, you know, senior age, um, 60 plus, um, social media affects us all, you know, a bit, um, regardless if we want to admit it or not. So, there you have it, but this week's blog post will be about how to wait, you know, how, there are We'll talk about ways to manage your social media usage more healthfully, especially if you are using social media for your work. So whether you're um, a company social media manager, if you own your own company and you're handling everything yourself or whatnot, you know, how do you distance yourself from feeling the pressures of social media on your mental health, especially when you have to use it for um, professional purposes. So um, tune into the blog post this week. Um, well, it should be out Wednesday. If not, then it'll be out Thursday, but we'll, it'll be out this week. Um, if you do have some tips to share about how to cut cut down on social media usage or how to be a little more healthy with your um, time on social media, feel free to drop a comment below or send a private message to our Facebook page, and uh, we'll get it incorporated into the blog post. Um, upcoming events. So... So I, Helene, will be a panelist at the next Women of Denver quarterly networking party on December 2nd, which is going to be a Saturday. Um, early bird tickets are available until November 15th, so um, after this broadcast, um, I'll drop the link below so that you can sign up for um, the early bird rate. Also, be on the lookout for our 2018 event soon. I know it's a little crazy to start talking about 2018, but actually, I've been thinking about 2018 since early September. So... We're already talking 2018 events. Um, it is right around the corner. And as I mentioned earlier in this broadcast, we may be changing the time of our Marketing Mondays. So stay tuned for that, but you'll be the first to hear. Um, of course, if you want to be the very, very first to hear about the updates, um, you can sign up for our mailing list, which I can also drop a link of it below. So hope you enjoyed today's broadcast. And, um, you know, Feel free to ask any questions in the comments below or send us private messages. We do respond to the private messages that you send to our Facebook page. So um, hope you enjoy the rest of your day and enjoy the rest of your week. And be on the lookout for this week's blog posts um, Wednesday or Thursday. See you.